Metrics analysis action, originally coined at Blitzmetrics, is a simple but repeatable way to test your content with data and ultimately let the data make decisions for you. We as marketers, we can make many great hypotheses and theories as what campaigns might work, what content might work, but ultimately we need to understand what's, what's the data actually telling us. The real story is in the data. How is the consumer or the user actually inter interacting with our content? How are they actually interacting um, with our product and what does the data say? So this is a very simple process to always be looking at the data, be looking at the right kind of metrics and make correct iterations and informed iterations on your content and in your campaigns. So we start out here with this triangle. We have metrics at the top. We have analysis over here. This is a hard board to write on. Then we have an action over here. So we have metrics, analysis, action. And what happens is this is a process. So firstly, in digital marketing or really marketing in general, there are thousands of metrics to pull from so many different metrics, all the different advertising platforms. That's actually the beauty of it. They give us so much data and so many touch points and data points and different metrics to look at, but we want to actually look at the proper metrics and the correct metrics based on the campaign or part of funnel that we're looking at. So the first part is make sure you're looking at the right kind of metrics. Make sure you're look, actually looking at data and the right kind of metrics that matters to your company's bottom line or your business goals with this campaign. Then after you have assembled what proper metrics to look at, we as a company typically re recommend with engagement the five standards of excellence to videos, but if you have your proper metrics already assembled, then you wanna to go to the analysis stage. This is where you are actually looking at these metrics and seeing, or and asking yourself, what is happening here? How is the user interacting with my, with my content? For example, you can look at the average watch time on videos on Facebook and Instagram. So if we know the average watch time on video across the board for Facebook and Instagram is six seconds, and we typically want to see between maybe 10, maybe 12 to 15 seconds of an average watch time for pretty good content. If you see that your video has an average watch time but after looking at the metrics, if you see that your average watch time for your video is five seconds or four seconds or even two seconds, then you can make the analysis, hmm, maybe in the first few seconds, I'm not really hooking people's attention. Maybe just, I don't have that interesting of engaging content. Or Facebook will literally show you what timestamp in your video people will drop off on your video. So for example, at the six second mark, you might have 80% of people like who, who have who were reached by that video have stayed to watch through all those six seconds. But then by the eighth second, you might literally see a decline of 30% of that original 80% who was staying 30 watching video dropped off. So then you might look at, okay, at seven, at the seventh second in my video, I see almost 30 to 40% of my audience dropped off. What happened here? Then if you go back and watch that video, you might realize, oh, the subject in our video, they sneeze, or there's a cut that looked confusing, or there's a time lapse that was, you know, too many colors and it was too fast and it was just kind of disorienting. Hmm, maybe that's where people dropped off. So after you've taken an analysis off what happened, right, the second day, then you move to the action stage, right? So let's say it was that we had a subject, you know, they were six seconds in, it was a great video, educational video to sell a course, but then they sneeze and then and even though it was like half a second or a mil couple milliseconds, now it's just enough time to lose the audiences, or, you know, the, the Facebook or the Instagram or the LinkedIn, whatever platform it is to lose their attention. So your action might be to go back and put that video in editing format, in premiere format, you know, whatever editing software you might use and literally edit out that sneeze or or maybe it's an and, or maybe it's a um, or maybe the client stutters, right? You go edit that out, and then this is how you iterate. After you've looked at the proper metrics, you took an analysis off of what might be a way that you can improve this video, and then you actually took actual action, throw that same video back into Facebook with the same targeting demographics so you have fewer variables to actually test what's going on. If you remember in science class, you don't wanna have too many variables when you're testing experiment by experiment. You wanna decrease the, the, the change in variables, so go back and test that same ad because you just made a, a small iteration of the content, and then go see what the metric see, or then go, go see what the metric says. Let's say you retake that video after you made that iteration you put it back on Facebook and Instagram and after a few days of running some ads or maybe you just let it go organic depending on your audience you saw that you have you now have an average watch time of nine seconds in your video then you can make the hypothesis hmm I think what I, the change that I made or the iteration that I made in my content 
increase my average watch time. So now in the future, I wanna make sure that I'm very, very aware and very observant in the first 10 seconds of the video to really know and, and really make sure that nothing you know loses the attention um, of the person watching the video. So this is our process of a metrics analysis action. Taking this entire process to every single ad is truly how you optimize um, your content and optimize your campaigns and really see the return on ad spend um, that you might see companies bragging about. But it's this type of intentionality and this type of scientific approach to advertising and content um, that really produces successful campaigns.